Good morning and welcome to today's devotion. And today we're going to look at James chapter 4 and verse 14. And it goes like this. What is your life, says James? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then it vanishes. I love historical novels. Uh, I love reading uh, about um, that which has gone on in, in the past, our history. And when it's done in the form of a story, uh, it, it can grip me and, and just love it. And one of my favorite authors is a man by the name of Edward Rutherford, who has written stories about cities. And what he does is over the period of the lifetime of the city, which is many centuries in most cases, he writes uh, about different families uh, and how their lives go through the generations. In most cases, if the family started upper class, it finished upper class and uh, privileged from each generation. Uh, if the family was working class, uh, each family, each individual uh, would work uh, hard and generally be exploited by the upper class and would die in a similar situation to which they began. Every now and again, and it would always be an exception, somebody from the upper class would fall into poverty and somebody from the working class would come into wealth. And my favorite story of those is the story about London when during the 19th century, uh, one poor destitute man uh, managed to get hold of a boat and he would go out on the River Thames uh, at night and he would collect the rubbish and he would look through the rubbish to see if he could find some treasure. By the end of his life, he had begun a business that collected all the rubbish of London into a central place, and there would be people who would pick through it and find the treasure there that people had thrown away. And this man became a multi-millionaire. And to read that story is just tremendous. But the reality is, is that after a few years, he died, and then his family, his children took over. And then after a few years, they died, and their uh, family took over, or their children took over. And in each and every case, um, one particular individual lasts for a few years, and then dies, and moves on. And the, next, the family stays together, but it's different people. And I find that quite disheartening. I find that quite, quite depressing. And you think to yourself, you do everything you can, you work hard, invariably uh, you remain as you are. Um, and then you die and your children take over and then their children take over and their children take over. And the history of a city is built through generations of people. One person is just one person. And they are like mist in the great scheme of things. And so, so James is right when he says that, is we are like a mist. We are not around for very long. Uh, we should not have too high opinion of ourselves, particularly in the light of the fact that there is one God and he is eternal. He existed before and he will exist uh, afterwards. He is always. He is God. And so James is right. We are like mist. Our lives are short and we should not think of ourselves as better than we actually are. But I do want to say that that is only part of the story. Psalm 139 is a favorite of many. And one of the reasons Psalm 139 is such a favorite is that it says, even though our lives are short, they are known to God. In fact, he knew us before even our parents knew us. He knew about us before we were, uh, we were in the womb. And then in the womb, he created us specially exactly as he determined, exactly as he wanted. We are precious to God. We are known to God. We have been formed by God. We exist for his glory. And we were no mistake. We were no mistake. And Ephesians 2 tells us that we've been saved by grace, through faith, for good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And so the eternal God is so great that he takes all all the people from all the generations and he specifically creates us and makes us exactly what he wants us to be so that we will do the work that he intended for us to do and the world will be filled with the glory of God as the waters cover the sea as a result of God's people who've been saved by his grace doing 
his work to his glory for our little piece of the pie, our little time, a short time that we're here on earth. And so we might just be like mist, but we do count. Each and every one of us counts to God. And that just shows us how great God is. And our lives can have meaning and purpose and value in and through Him, our Creator, our Sustainer, our Redeemer, our Savior, and our Lord. Amen.